Hi there, today we are going to make a thank you to the team end of year video. So the first thing I did is I started with Biteable's templates. I typed in thank you just to search for what we've got available. Um, I want a simple kind of one to two scene video message. So I'm just going to pick this one since it's a style I like, but there's a lot of options. This will load the template into my account. And I start out here and again, this is just a two scene video, one that has text. I'm going to go edit that text right now. So thank you. Thank you, Bite of Bleers, for a great year. I've got that done. That's kind of all I wanted, pretty simple at the end. I'm going to leave this font. Let's see what we're working with here. Uh, Alada, okay. I haven't used that one before. Seems pretty, pretty good. And this one is a nicely styled scene. It's got a video here um, that I'm going to replace. This is a stock clip. It's got some cool things in front of it. What I'm going to start with, though, is I want to adjust the timing. So right now, this all this stuff enters right at the beginning of the scene. So I'm going to make some adjustments here. When I come in and edit timing, um, I've got this graphic. I want this to come in after I say thank you. So we'll have this come in like a second into the scene. This graphic can start at the beginning and I'm going to make a little bit of an adjustment on the animation. I want this to scale up. I'm going to take, and this can stay the same. I have a video I've pre-recorded, and so you can upload a video, you can replace a video, but I've already got an asset in my recording library using Vitable's record tools. I want to replace that media. So I select the object I want uh, and click replace. When I go into my recordings, this is the video that I had just recorded. That looks good. Drop it in. That drops it in right where it was. I think the outline looks pretty good there. This resized the element to the length of my scene. What I actually want to do here, I'm going to put this into the foreground because I want it to start about a second after the scene begins. So that changes the size a little bit. We're just going to shrink it down a little bit, make sure it's centered in the middle here. And then I'm going to set it to I want this to be the last layer so all this stuff sits in front of it. I'm going to go in here and have this thank you video come in 1.2 seconds in. And my graphic, I want to actually have that come in a little, maybe like a second after because I say thank you in the beginning of the video. So that will adjust my timing a little bit so we can see how this starts. Actually another thing I need to do is trim I'm going to up the volume trim my video a little because I think I have a pause before I start talking. Okay, so I'm going to go trim this to right before I start talking. It's good. And then what I'm going to do is I want to make sure there's a pause at the end. So I like to trim. You can trim the end off here or you can actually just shorten the scene so it clips it where you want to. So I'm going to play this and just see Stretch this out since I trimmed the beginning. Let's just see where it ends. Or another great year. So if I end this about right here, that should end right when I'm done talking with a nice little pause. Before another great year. I'm going to go one more half second. Okay, so I've got that set pretty nicely. Let's see how this begins and let's see if every, all the timing kind of works the way I wanted. Hi, Vita Bleeders. Thank you for an awesome year. Okay, that looks good. The only thing I want to do is I'm going to fade this in. So I'm going to have a video effect. This animation is going to fade in so everything comes in kind of nicely. Let's try that again. Hi, Vita Bleeders. Thank you for an awesome year. We're getting close to... Okay, that looks the way I want it. The other thing is, I this looks pretty good, but what I'm going to do is add a frame on it. So we have a lot of different framing elements that can be used. Um, when I go to image frames, I'm just going to pick this iPad since it's pretty flexible to use. This is an SVG, so it can be stretched. So I'm going to line this up just to cover the rough edges here. And lines up on the bottom pretty well. I'm just going to stretch this so it kind of looks like I'm in an iPad. I'm gonna, actually the easiest way to set the layers, I can go to the layer order and I just wanna drag this right in front of my video. 
and there we go. So that's all set up the way I want. The scene transitions into this last scene. Um, I've got music here. I want to make sure it's not too loud. And we'll go three since it's kind of a fun song and a fun message. I want to go select my video and then make sure that I want to lower the soundtrack volume when it's playing so I can easily be heard. Hi, Vita Blair. Glad I did that because I realized I want to make sure that that iPad shows up right when I do. So 1.2, 1.2. Let's also have that iPad fade in as well. Let's see how that looks. Hi, Vita Bleeders. Thank you for an awesome year. We're getting close. That looks pretty good. So I think we're done there. Um, audio sounded good when I go to publish. I'm just gonna publish this video and let it build so I can watch any tweaks. I'm gonna say, change my title, since I'm gonna share a link to this. Vita Bleeders. And that's about it. As soon as this is done, it's ready to share. Uh, and I can say thank you to my team for a great year.